science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and as the torch which illuminates the world says French scientist Louis Pasteur so when countries collaborate through science geographical boundaries dissolve and a brilliant friendship emerges Sefakra has been the fulcrum of such a friendship for more than 25 years between two countries with very rich cultural heritage and unending quest for scientific knowledge Over the years Sefakra has seen the scientific partnership between the two countries evolve through several stages Indo-French Asante cooperation for promotion of advanced research is a journey of 25 years taken together in partnership by the French and Indian scientists It was more than 25 years ago Sefakra was conceived and delivered and it was at that time in a different context promotion of advanced research was the theme and the scientists of french and indian origin were brought together and provided an opportunity to engage in advanced research by funding by both governments maintaining parity reciprocity and equal investment Sevipra to me is truly Indo-French partnership for promotion of research. Sevipra's birth in 1987 is a story of success of the political will of two nations. In order to give a structure to existing relations, apex level dialogue started in the 1970s and a new thinking came to see the light of day. What evolved was at that time a unique idea of calling upon science as a medium of building diplomatic relations between nations. At the very origin of the Sefipra is a, a vision which was shared between the French and the Indian leadership of that time, Indira Gandhi on the Indian side and President Giscard d'Estaing on the other side, that there was a great future for Indo-French cooperation in the field of science. So what they wanted to do is to have a modern instrument uh, jointly funded jointly operated so very modern uh, at that time it was in the 1980s and they also wanted to ensure that it would uh, last in the long run so that it's not just a one shot kind of initiative but that this will build uh, year after year uh, a scientific fraternity between France and India A bilateral instrument of cooperation in science and technology between India and France. Sefapra became engaged in promoting joint research in frontier areas of science and technology. The concept of Sefapra uh, was mostly uh, political decisions which was taken uh, in the end of uh, 70s. Uh, the the political leaders of both the nations uh, india and france which are traditionally uh, friendly nations uh, and uh, have taken and wonderful decisions to use science as a medium to link both the nations so basically the safi prize birth took place in 1987 to link the scientists and the technologists uh, from india and france to support the cutting edge uh, basic science basically the initial focus on basic sciences produced some landmarks in science so its first 15 years of its uh, presence sefifra's focus was basically to link one to one the scientist to scientist and at the end of this 15 years there was a wonderful network of the scientists from both the sides emerged and the next uh, 10 years of its journey was to strengthen that network and also uh, how that knowledge generated not only to the support but 
available within these two nations uh, to convert it into the form of an improving a product or improving a process so that it can improve the competitiveness of the industries between both the countries. But Safipra was not to remain restricted to just basic sciences for too long. It soon glided into more applied sciences like high energy physics, atmospheric sciences, applied chemistry and alternative energy studies. As liberalization policies started taking shape in 1991, marketplace pressures led to research being equated with wealth creation globally. It was change time for Sefepra too. And in 2002, the Industrial Research Committee was started. Another important factor this helped in was to train Indian PhD and postdoc fellows uh, who were sent to France under this program. Such was the success of this program that uh, the governing body decided that this success should also be translated into converting scientific research into economic activity. So as a result, about 10, 12 years ago, they started this industrial research program where industry from one country and the scientific institution from the other country would get together in solving a problem of industry. And this industry's problem has to be solved in such a way that it becomes a commercial success within a period of three to five years. As a result, an entire new Indo-French science and technology ecosystem emerged. Significant success stories include a project between Indian Institute of Chemical Technology in Hyderabad and Université de Rennes and Avra Laboratories in Hyderabad, which resulted a product misoprostol. This has been commercially launched into the market by Avra Laboratories. The impact has been beyond Sefepra. Many Indo-French collaborative laboratories came up. It helped the evolution of an ecosystem and an innovation chain. However, nurturing scientific brains of both countries, which beneficiaries regale about, remains one of the key focus areas of Sefepra. Sefepra actually is a very, it, it takes care of many things which is necessary and for a young student, for example, our research student has spent one and a half year as a, as a, as a student working on the joint project. So we can have through this SEFIPRA the postdocs involved in the program. So longer visits can happen whereas I can go on for a week and 15 days. So that uh, thing is actually offered by Safipra and this is actually when young fellows are involved, advancement is assured. Today, Safipra is much more than a mere funding agency. It is a facilitating agency, a platform where funding agencies from both the countries are brought together. Safipra is developing this as an institutional linkage. 140 Indian, 61 French institutions and people, as well as projects from the two countries have been linked in over 439 projects. Safipra facilitated the meeting of great minds and they in turn nurtured ace young minds. The laboratories I collaborate with, they are strong in some aspects of solid state chemistry, we are strong in some aspects. We go and introduce uh, some new areas of research in their labs uh, and then they bring in uh, some fresh ideas to our labs. And most importantly, young people, uh, they, they go through this exchange. Uh, to me, singularly, uh, the, the manpower, the exposure uh, to uh, young people from both the sides uh, is the singularly the most important aspect of this because their uh, horizon is widened. It has resulted in benefits for both the countries. The collaborators have benefited from each other's trends. They've introduced 
new areas of studies and published papers in high impact journals. The collaboration is really good when from each side brings something to the population. It has to be a win-win situation for everybody. And this was actually, I think, a perfect case where each one of us, each side had something to give to the other side. Many, many years back, we wrote together a paper. Once we find the Higgs at the Large Hadron Collider, how will we use the properties of the Higgs to learn about supersymmetry? And this was actually a pretty nice piece of work which got a lot of attention. And you may or may not believe it, just today, one paper along with the, some of the old collaborators and some newer French collaborators, we have just got one paper accepted which actually uses the Large Hadron Collider data and which actually puts those constraints on the supersymmetry. So, in some sense, it's been really, that should give you an idea how fruitful the uh, collaboration and the impact uh, has been for uh, us. Just like the Indians, French scientists have also gained from the exchange of brilliant ideas. Science is, is first a matter of scientists, but at some point we need that organizations like CEFIPRA put a, 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 a more global framework to, to organize that in the, in, in the long term. And these are uh, issues that need to be organized uh, at a, a scale of a few years with, uh, and including many partners and laboratories. So only an organization like CEFIPRA can help doing it. The song of success has been sweet to the ears. With over 439 projects, 20 patents, 112 seminars and workshops, and 850 students from both nations supported. Over 1,515 publications in international journals, and more than 2,500 exchange visits by Indian and French scientists. Most remarkably, Sefapra has gone beyond mere science and technology collaboration between any two countries. CEFIPRA has become the fulcrum of the entire Indo-French bilateral relations and will see this camaraderie to a new level beyond this 25 years of honeymoon to a long-lasting marriage. CEFIPRA's success has already raised expectations. Scientists, technologists, industrialists, particularly the small-scale sector, look up to it to help bring solutions that dissolve geographical boundaries in the coming years. This journey has just begun. There's still a long way to go. Industries today have changing requirements. Uh, the demands of the industry are different. In fact, the entire perspective of uh, technology has changed, uh, particularly in the last 25 years. So what was technology 25 years back is uh, no more into existence. So there are different levels of R&D, different levels of cooperation which are required. So I believe that this movement now has much more responsibility and the expectations of Indian industries, particularly the rising, growing SME sector, uh, are very high. 25 years and beyond, Safipra's journey continues in the service of building and enhancing scientific and industrial competency between the two nations for creating the global common goods.